Hi guys and welcome to Better Data Science. By now you know how to write some basic data pipelines in Apache Airflow. You've seen that we can write multiple tasks that are ran one after the other and how Airflow takes care of everything in between. What we haven't covered yet or at least not in a dedicated video is a method of exchanging data between the tasks. You can use Airflow XCOMS to do so and today you'll learn the basics you'll need in pretty much every day you'll write. XCOM stand for cross communications and they represent a mechanism that allows tasks to essentially talk to each other. In today's video you'll learn how to push data to Airflow XCOMS and how to pull, and pull it out by writing a DAG made of two tasks. Both will leverage the Python operator to do some pretty basic stuff. You'll also learn when you shouldn't use XCOMS and what are its limitations. So without much ado, let's get started. Let's start by pushing a value to Airflow XCAMS. This can be done in multiple ways, but by far the most explicit one is by specifying the do XCAM push option as true in the test parameter. To start, we'll write a boilerplate that takes care of library imports and declares an Airflow DAG. As you can see, I'm in PyCharm and I've created a new file in the DAGs folder named XCOM DAG. So for the imports, we'll need date time and from airflow models we'll need the DAG and we'll also need the Python operator now let's declare the DAG with DAG DAG ID let's call it XCOM DAG schedule interval let's say daily Start date, it's a date time, say 2022, March 1st, and catch up equals to false as DAG. And okay, that's all we need to get started. Let's implement the test now. It will call a Python function and push its return value to Airflow XCOMS. The Python function itself will just return the current date time formatted as a string. So let's, let's write the Airflow task first. Task get date is Python operator. Task ID of get date. Python callable is get date. It, that's the function the task will call. And finally, do x come push is true. We're doing this to explicitly st state to Airflow that this task should push the return value of the getDate function to Airflow x comes. And now let's declare the function. So df get date. It will return a string. Basically, return string of date time now. That's all we need, so let's test the test through the terminal. So the command is airflow tasks test. The name of the DAG is XCOM DAG, or the ID of the tag is XCOM DAG. The ID of the task is get date, and we also need a date in the past. Okay, let's run it. You can see the task was marked as success, but this alone doesn't tell us the data was pushed to XCOMS. There are two ways we can test it. The first one is by running a SQL statement in Airflow's metadata database. The second and much easier method is by opening Airflow's homepage and inspecting XCOMS from there. So let's open the Airflow homepage and go under admin XCOMS. You can see the return value specified here. The only question that remains is how to get the value out, so let's cover that next. Let me go back to PyCharm. And we'll now write yet another task named task save date, which we'll call the save date Python function. So task save date is Python operator, task ID of save date in Python callable save date function. Let's declare the function next. Oh, that save, save date. It won't return anything. 
and the function will, will need one argument that's specific to Airflow and it's commonly denoted as TI and TI stands for task instance and it allows us to pull values stored in Airflow XCOMS and how we pull it is well let's say dt for daytime is ti xcom pool task ids get data basically the xcom pool method is used to pull a list of return values from one or multiple airflow tasks and you should know the plural on the task ids here i've run into many issues in the past because i've written it as task id so keep that in mind and as the argument value, you should specify a list of task IDs from which you want to fetch the values stored in XCOMS. For example, we want to get the data from the get data task. You can see it here, so I'll specify it as a list here. And now just to check if not dt, let's say raise value error, no value currently stored in text comes feel free to put basically anything here and what we'll do with it is we'll write it to a file users my username airflow data let's say date txt in open the file in write mode as f and f write dt0 the fetch dt is basically a python list and you can access its members by using the python's indexing notation and that's it so we can test the task now so let me clear this first the command will be airflow tasks test xcom dag save date and the date and we get the error so python couldn't write something it's expected the argument to be a string but it got none let me inspect that oh the issue was in the task name it's not get data but it's get date sorry about that let's run it again And no exception was raised this time, which means we should see a text file in the data folder. So under data, we see date. And it contains the current date time, which, which was fetched from the Airflow XCOMS, just as we wanted. And that's basically how you can communicate between Airflow tests with XCOMS. There are some limitations to the whole concept, so let's cover them next. XCOMS might seem like a be all end all solution to communicate between tasks in Airflow, but there are some limitations you should know. Airflow is not a data processing framework, so you should avoid sending huge pandas data frames between the tasks. You are likely to run into memory issues if you try to exchange a large dataset between the tasks anyway. As an example, you should process big datasets in Spark and use Airflow only to trigger a Spark job. At the end of the day, Airflow is just an orchestrator, and it should be used for that purpose only. Today we'll learn the basics of Airflow XCOMS. You'll now have everything needed to effectively communicate between the tasks in your DAG. Just remember that Airflow isn't a data processing framework, but a data orchestrator instead. Don't use XCOMS to exchange huge dataset and you should be good to go. In the following video you'll learn the right way to communicate with REST APIs in Airflow, and these are with HTTP sensor and HTTP operator. Stay tuned for that, as I plan to release the video in a couple of days. In the meantime, if you like this video and want to see more, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.